to ensure optimal performance and safety in the operation of your Holland fifth wheel, take a few minutes to learn the proper coupling procedures. Holland FW35 series fifth wheel coupling procedure. Before coupling, be sure that the area is level and clear of people and obstacles. Engage the parking brake on the tractor and chock the wheels on the trailer. If the trailer is loaded, be sure that the load is secure. Inspect the fifth wheel, top plate, and mounting bracket assembly closely. Make sure the fifth wheel is securely fastened to the tractor. Inspect welds and fasteners on the fifth wheel assembly. Replace any cracked components. Do not repair cracks by welding. Replace any missing fasteners and tighten all loose fasteners. Proper lubrication of the top plate is essential to maintain optimal steering and safety. Lubricated fifth wheel models require a coating of lubricant on the top plate with sufficient lubricant in the grease grooves for proper and safe steering. No lubrication is required for the Holland FW31 model, which features Holland's no lube technology. Simply make sure lube pads are in place and securely fastened. Fifth wheels mounted on sliding brackets must be visually inspected. Inspect both sides of the fifth wheel and slider assembly to be sure plunger lock bars are fully engaged. The slider must be secured and locked in the proper position for safe operation. Make sure that the fifth wheel is in the proper position. Check the articulation of the fifth wheel. The fifth wheel must move freely. Ramps must be tilted down toward the rear and resting on the stops. Before coupling, Visually inspect the fifth wheel lock jaws to ensure that the lock is open and ready for coupling. If locks are closed, pull the release handle all the way out. Release the optional manual secondary lock if the fifth wheel is equipped with one. If the fifth wheel is air release equipped, pull and hold the fifth wheel release control valve until locking mechanism opens and locks in place. Check the throat area of the fifth wheel to make sure it is free of debris, snow, or ice. Visually inspect the trailer upper coupler plate. The area supported by the fifth wheel should be free of scrapes and gouges. Inspect the kingpin to make sure it is not damaged. Also, make sure the kingpin is not obstructed by a lock or security device. Periodically, check the kingpin for excessive wear using the kingpin gauge available from SAF Holland. See the Holland Kingpin Inspection Procedure video for more information. Make sure the kingpin is properly lubricated and the upper coupler plate is free of rust. A light oil rust inhibitor may be applied. If the tractor is equipped with a no-lube fifth wheel, the kingpin will not require lubrication. Line up the tractor with the trailer using the side view mirrors. Be sure the tractor and trailer are in a straight line. Never back under at an angle you could push the trailer sideways and damage the landing gear. Back up slowly and stop short of the trailer. Do not back under the trailer. Completely exhaust air from the tractor suspension. Engage the tractor parking brake and place the transmission in neutral. Make sure the fifth wheel is below the contact surface of the trailer's upper coupler plate before backing under the trailer. If the trailer is too low, use the landing gear to raise the height of the trailer. If the trailer is too low, you could damage the tractor, trailer, and fifth wheel. When you have proper height alignment, slowly back up, using the lowest gear possible. Stop when the fifth wheel is under the leading edge of the trailer. Engage tractor parking brake and place transmission in neutral. Exit cab and verify proper fifth wheel to kingpin alignment. One of the most common mistakes with coupling is incorrect kingpin to fifth wheel alignment. Proper alignment is critical. Air up the tractor suspension to ride height. The fifth wheel must make complete contact with the upper coupler plate. Never inflate the tractor suspension when the kingpin is above the throat of the fifth wheel. This will damage both kingpin and fifth wheel. If the fifth wheel does not make contact with the upper coupler plate, Use the landing gear to lower the trailer until the fifth wheel makes contact. If the trailer is too high, the kingpin will not properly connect with lock jaw. Using the lowest gear possible, slowly back the tractor into the trailer to engage the kingpin and fifth wheel. You will hear the sound of the lock jaw shutting around the kingpin. Avoid hard contact with the kingpin. 
connect air and electrical lines, and raise the landing gear legs until the pads just come off the ground. Perform a pull test to ensure the coupling procedure has been done correctly. With trailer parking brakes engaged, place the tractor in low gear and ease out on the clutch. Just enough to feel resistance and make sure the coupling is secure. If the pull test is successful, engage the tractor's parking brakes, place the transmission in neutral, and shut off the engine. Now proceed with the final visual inspection. Visually inspect the fifth wheel top plate for the retraction of the yoke shaft. The nut and washer should be snug against the front skirt of the fifth wheel top plate. Make sure the pull handle is retracted and is in the closed position. Make sure there is no gap between the fifth wheel top plate and the trailer's upper coupler plate. Go under the trailer with a flashlight to inspect fifth wheel lock jaws. Lock jaws should be completely engaged and closed around the kingpin. If the yoke shaft is not completely retracted, if there is a gap present, or if the lock jaws are not completely closed, the coupling was unsuccessful. If any one of these three conditions exist, you must repeat the complete coupling procedure. For uncoupling procedures, refer to the Holland Uncoupling video. Warning! Operation of a tractor and trailer with an improper coupling or operation of a tractor and trailer with a malfunctioning fifth wheel could result in tractor-trailer separation while in use, which, if not avoided, could result in death or serious injury. When a successful coupling has been achieved, retract the landing gear using high gear. Secure the crank handle. The coupling procedure is now complete.